Welcome to the product demonstration of electrical vehicle battery management system with charge monitoring and fire protection system. So here uh, we are developing the project uh, using Arduino Uno. So like uh, the only modification we have done uh, the, for the previous version. So Arduino Uno will continuously monitor the voltage from this voltage sensor and current from this current sensor. So to isolate and to on the voltage sensor inputs. So this is the voltage sensor input. When we on this, so it will uh, provide the battery voltage to the Arduino Uno board. And when we on this, the motor will get switched on and the same current will be measured by this current sensor and that will be monitored on this uh, Arduino Uno and that will be, uh, will be displayed on this LCD screen. Coming to the battery voltage monitoring system. So whenever the battery voltage is low, then it will provide us the audible alert through this piezo buzzer and it is intimating the user uh, two on the chargers. So there we are putting the two chargers uh, from the relays. So when we select that relay one, so it's normal charging and when we select the relay two, so when the when we select the both relays, that's indication of the battery will be charged in faster uh, manner so that we can fully charge in a duration of less time compared with the single relay got switched on. And uh, whenever the fire predicted or fire protection purpose that will be uh, monitored by this temperature sensor. So when we are uh, getting the more temperature than the 43 degrees centigrade, then automatically this cooling fan will get switched on to cool down the battery pack here. So here we are using 3.7 ohms lithium ion battery pack of 2600 mAh per hour. So that is the main rating for this one in that 3 uh, 3.7 volts are connected in parallel. So we will get 11.1 ohms minimum voltage from this one when it is fully charged we may get up to 12 volts. So the whole system getting power supply from this 230 volts AC input. So which will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and that is input to our regulated power supply board. From there we are going to uh, get the 12 volts DC output after the rectification and filtration that is a charging voltage that will be input to the uh, battery pack through this electromagnetic relays and the next uh, the operating voltage of our you know board and the remaining components is a 5 volts so for that purpose we need to regulate that 12 volts dc to 5 volts dc with the help of this 7805 regulator so this one is a 7805 regulator which will take 12 volts dc input and provide as a 5 volts dc output so that will be distributed throughout the input output models like relays sensors and lcd display along with arduino you know board and coming to the interfacing connections we have interfaced this voltage sensor at A1 and temperature sensor at A0 and current sensor at uh, A2, A0 uh, right, A and A1 and A2 and next LCD display interface with pin number 2 to pin number 7 and these two control buttons to selection of the relays interface with the pin number 8 and 9 and 10, 11 for this relays, 12 is for the CPU cooling fan 13 for this buzzer. So these are all the main input connections and output connections are for you know board. So let us see the demonstration just on the power supply to this uh, cable. Uh, then we can see the welcome message on the LCD screen. So initially welcome message on the LCD screen and then as of now we are isolated the battery. So just on this so you can see the battery voltage is measured and the temperature continuously measured and displayed on the LCD screen right and now whenever the uh, temperature increases when it crosses the 43 degrees centigrade high temperature and fan got switched on so when it's below 43 degrees centigrade again the fan will get switched off and temperature is normal and when we on the load so motor start rotating as we can see the current also on the LCD screen and uh, whenever the battery voltage is low then we can on this relay 1 and relay 2 till the battery full when the battery will get full then automatically the relays will get switched off right so one more thing is there if fire detection also means if temperature also increase the threshold value right fan 
got switched on as well as relays are also get to switch off as we need to protect the batteries from overcharging and protection purpose right normal condition again <coughs> 